All right, so I've been chilling with the Oct for about an hour and a half, and uh, we finally hit the cold bug at minus 190. We got the um, system up to about 6,000 gigahertz, or 6 gigahertz, 6,000 megahertz. And I uh, just want to um, uh, show a warm-up from minus 190 to maybe 140 where we can reboot. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the board that I have doesn't have the OC panel, uh, but uh, it is a good opportunity to show you that um, we can pretty quickly, maybe in a matter of a minute, maybe two minutes, warm up from minus 190C. Uh, to let's say 140C where we can reboot. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Give you a quick look at what a uh, minus 190 degrees Celsius uh, uh, head looks like, an awk head inside there. Everything in there is at least minus 50 degrees Celsius, anything near the, uh, the head. And anything around it should have ice on it. Also, the head should also have ice on it. The components on the motherboard should have ice on it if the purge case wasn't working. But as you can see, the purge case is working. There's no ice on anything. And I can basically run the system like this for as many hours as I want. We've been running it, like I said, off of this 10 liter doer for about an hour and a half. Uh, getting probably close to two hours. And that doer is still only 10 liters, but it is still pumping for my system here. Anyway, so there's the awk head, there's the valve, and all the goodies, and it's delivering liquid nitrogen down. So I'm gonna go ahead, and uh, as you can see here, the temperature is approximately minus 190 degrees Celsius. Oh, that's the set point, let me get that out of the way. So we're regulating, we have it set at minus 190 degrees Celsius. We're regulating at, uh, oh boy, it's at 190 degrees. It looked like it went from 88 to 91. So it's got a little bit of a delta there. That's because the, that sucker is so cold, it, uh, uh, it will probably oscillate one or two degrees. Anyways, so that's that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and warm this up. So... How you do that is you simply press CPU set point. I'm going to program in minus 140 degrees. So hit the minus sign, 140, hit send. And now you can see we are at the set point of minus 140 degrees. So we're at 1022. Uh, we'll do a real approximate time of how long it uh, opens. It takes to... Uh, get back to the cold bug, cold boot bug, because I can't boot at, at better than, at lower than minus 140 degrees Celsius. So see where now we're at. 173, it's been about 30 seconds. One sixty, and it's been about fifty seconds, I believe. Just looking at the timer here on my camera. One fifty at about one minute, so it's taken about one minute to go down forty or go up forty degrees. And as you can see, we don't want to overshoot it. Just like when we're getting cold, we don't want to overshoot. And let's say we have a set point of minus 120. So the ramp, what happens is our system ramps it down. And uh, as you can see, the curve is going to meet the set point at minus 140 degrees perfectly. So anyways... We are at uh, about two minutes now, so it's taken two minutes to warm from minus 140 degrees all the way, or minus 190, all the way up to minus 140 degrees Celsius. So that's that.
And as you can see, just running the awk down inside there. 